Good morning, Newark. How are you? It's great to be here this morning. Uh, I want to uh, say it's my honor to be here. I want to thank all of you, and I want to thank all the sponsors for, t for participating in this, in this great event. And I want to say that uh, the Apollo Alliance is very excited to be part of this conference and very excited to join with you in building Newark's green future. And this is a great opportunity, a chance to talk about how we create green buildings and green spaces and green jobs and how we put Newark at the leading edge of the green revolution in this country. Uh, I'm going to take just a couple minutes uh, before I introduce the mayor to provide some context to what we're doing here today and what it means not just for the people of this community but what it means for our nation. Uh, Kate talked briefly about the Apollo Alliance and who we are and what our mission is. We are a national coalition of environmental, labor, business leaders, social justice leaders, each of who, whom come from different walks of life but who share a uniquely American agenda. And that is, in this 21st century, to build a new American economy, a clean energy, good jobs economy that frees this nation from oil dependency, that addresses that risk of climate change, and perhaps most importantly, restores the notion that made America great, that we are a country that has an economy for everyone, not just the few, that we're committed to investing in our people, our communities, and our industry, and using our great wealth as a society to create greater wealth for generations to come. We take our name from the first Apollo mission in this country, when John Kennedy stood before this nation in 1961 and pledged to send a man to the moon by the end of the decade. We accomplished that goal, but in the course of putting a human being on the moon, we did more than just achieved a great scientific feat. We mobilized the talent of innovators, entrepreneurs, scientists, and workers across this country to accomplish a great national goal and to create wealth and productivity and economic results that has rebounded for decades to come. We believe at the Apollo Alliance that we can do the same today when we face these enormous challenges our dependence on foreign oil, the real and imminent threat of global warming, the hollowing out of the middle class and the working class in this country that has been our backbone, if we make a similar commitment to mobilize the talent and wealth of this country. Now look, we've faced enormous challenges before. A nation rent apart by the Civil War, a nation that overcame fascism and a Great Depression, a nation that during the Cold War did some pretty smart things mobilizing the capital and people of this country, building the interstate highway system. I'm from a generation that went to college with loans and scholarships provided by the National Defense Education Act because we understood that if we invested in the talents and energies and education of our people and gave them pathways to success, all of us would achieve. So in that context, the Apollo Alliance is going all over this country trying to work with people like Mayor Cory Booker and all of you to build a new national movement to create a clean energy, good jobs economy. Over the next month, we're going to be releasing across this country our agenda for change, an agenda that we hope is embraced at the local level with examples like Newark in the lead, showing the way, and by new national leaders, our new president and a new progressive Congress that takes office in January of 2009. I want you to all go to our website, ApolloAlliance.org, and take a look at our program, the new Apollo program. It is a sweeping program, a 10-year, $500 billion investment program to create 5 million new jobs, to lower energy costs, and to build a new era of prosperity in this country. Go look at the new Apollo program and help join our movement to be, create the political base to bring about fundamental change in Washington in January so the resources are made available to innovative communities like Newark here on the ground. And look, there's so much we can do. We can retrofit the built environment in this country. 70% of the electricity consumption in America is in buildings, 40% of the carbon emissions. In the next 25 years, 75% of the buildings in this country are either going to be newly constructed or rehabilitated. We can make those buildings more energy efficient and create hundreds of thousands of jobs. Each year we're spending $120 billion in Iraq. 
for that investment here in America, we could build public transit systems and put more than a million Americans to work. We can build renewable energy systems. We can retool our industrial base and might and make sure we're never dependent again on other countries for our energy security. As we move off foreign oil dependency, what a tragedy it would be if we're dependent on other societies for all the component parts to fill a new clean energy economy. There is so much to do, but there's two big things that need to happen. First of all, we need new leaders in Washington, progressive leaders who understand this agenda and get this agenda. And I will just say, I'm head of a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization, but I am thrilled that Barack Obama has committed to invest $150 billion in clean energy and good jobs and to give a hand up to communities like Newark. But we need something else. We need examples and leaders at the local level because almost everything we need to do, whether it's building a solar plant, whether it's building a recycling facility, whether it is cleaning up the port and creating an example of what a green port is that supports commerce and jobs, whether it's retrofitting the built environment, building public transit systems, these are all things that emanate at the community level. So what we need are cities that will be at the leading edge. And it's very clear that in the 21st century, cities are going to be the hub of the American economy. We're going to grow by 120 million people by 2050. 90% of the population growth in this country is going to be immigrants and people of color. People are moving because of gas prices and because they want interactive communities back into urban centers. Cities are becoming the nexus of research and development and universities and knowledge jobs. This is going to be the 21st century, will be the century of the American city. And there's so much you can do here in Newark. And with your great leadership from Mayor Booker and with your energy and with your talent and what's beginning here today, I have every faith and confidence that Newark will be an example that the rest of the country can look to. Let me close with this thought. When John Kennedy launched the Apollo mission in 1961, he set a very clear goal for this country. And he backed it with real resources and money. He committed $3.5 billion a year in that economy to the space mission alone. That's $70 billion a year equivalent in today's society, this very wealthy society. And he said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and to do other things not because they are easy, because, but because they are hard. We choose to go to the moon because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. I have every faith and belief that if John Kennedy and my parents' generation could make those kind of commitments to explore the heavens, what we can do here in Newark, in your own community, in your own neighborhoods, and across this nation, is we can commit ourselves to save our planet and build a new economy of broad opportunity here at home, here in Newark, here in cities across this nation. Now, it is my great honor uh, to introduce the person who really began with all of you to make this happen, someone who um, is known throughout the country for his energy, his talent, his passion, his commitment to the city of Newark. A lot of people pick different paths in politics and public service. And Cory Booker has uh, picked a path of commitment. From his days here representing people in the community who needed a voice in the courts of our land, to someone who's committed his life to rebuilding the neighborhoods of Newark, uh, Cory Booker stands as an example, not just to the people of this community, but across this nation. In so many respects, as you know, Newark in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s was emblematic of the challenges and the woes of urban America. I know in my heart the very fact that we're here today, the very fact that all the eyes are now on Newark, I know in my heart that under Cory Booker's leadership and with your energy and commitment, all eyes will once again be on the city of Newark as a shining example of what we can do to rebuild the very heart of America, our cities, our core, our neighborhood. And so it's my real honor today to introduce to you someone you know who's really the driving force who with you will catapult Newark to the front ranks of the Green Revolution. Please give a very warm welcome to Mayor Cory Booker. <laughs> 